Hello lovely people, welcome to my channel once again. My name is Church Girl. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so right below. And if you are new to this channel, uh, when you click on the subscribe button, uh, please click on the bell button below so that you'll be notified anytime that I post a new video. Uh, today we are still on our journey of taking charge of our own health. And today's topic I think many of us can relate to it because we do have a friend, family member or a co-worker who might have a problem uh, with alcoholism. So today's topic, I'm going to be sharing about how to treat alcoholism naturally. Yes, sometimes people go to rehab, but uh, when they come back, they still fall into the trap of uh, going back into the bottle and it continues again. It's like a cycle for some people. So I'm here to tell you that there's a natural way of treating your own alcoholism right at home. And the first ingredient that I'm going to be talking about, uh, this is mango leaves. Those of you who know mango leaves, the mango that we eat, this is the leaves of mango, fresh mango leaves. Uh, and here I have vodka here to show uh, to you, to demonstrate. Uh, what I'm going to be telling you is that when you get, uh, before you make this uh, concussion what you have to do is to uh, seek your uh, your grandmother so that she can make you one of her favorite soup uh, either chicken soup pepper soup or what kind of light soup that you uh, you like to drink because you have to make sure that you have a badge like a, a pot full of uh, soup waiting for you before you try this uh, recipe okay so before you go on to uh, do this concoction, you have to find your favorite alcohol. Okay, so I'm talking about a person who have a problem with alcoholism. What they need to do is to find their favorite alcohol. If vodka is your favorite alcohol, that's which makes you intoxicated, you have to buy vodka. But if you have uh, maybe Bacardi, Jack Daniels, whatever alcohol that you like taking, that is what you are going to be using uh, in your in your recipe but i have vodka here just to demonstrate so what you do is uh when you get your uh, mango leaves okay some mango leaves are very soft especially the ones that are up and uh, coming mango leaves they are very soft like the soft ones and they are very small if you do get such mango leaves the smaller ones the soft petals uh what you need is you need 21 of those mango leaves the soft petals okay if you have the uh if you have the small ones you have to take 21 of those but if you have big ones uh you can take seven okay as i have here i have seven mango leaves here i have more than seven but this is seven that i have counted myself is uh nicely washed please please wash it very well because you are gonna consume this so you need to be washed uh, clearly but before you do that Everyone has a limit when they are taking alcohol. Some people will take a sh uh, few shots before they get drunk. Some people will, will even drink half a bottle or a full bottle at a sitting. Whatever measurement that you drink, usually take, that is the measurement that you are going to use. So there's no measurement to this according to your own uh, way of drinking. So if you drink half a, gla half a glass of uh, alcohol at a time, that is what makes you drunk. Um, that is what you have to use half a cup if it's a full bottle that's what you have to use a full bottle so what we are going to be using is we are going to be blending uh the alcohol with the mango leaves okay this is washed so please i'm going to take this one here and i'll move to this side okay so i have my blender here and for demonstration purpose i have a glass of water okay so if you uh, use it, you are going to be using the alcohol, your favorite alcohol, and the measurement that you are used to taking. So what you're going to do is, I'm just going to, you can just rip it apart. Just rip it apart here. You don't need to, don't add no water, okay? I am using water because this is just for demonstrational purpose. If you get to the middle, and uh, I just rip it. Okay. I'm gonna plug this here. So you have to just add a small amount of water in the beginning. Don't use too much. You want it to blend very well. Okay. So I 
I have a little bit of water. I'm gonna blend this. Once you think it's blended well, you add the remaining amount of alcohol to it. Let me give it another blend. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain this. Okay, I'm first gonna strain it. Okay, I have my strainer here. Make sure everything is clean and sterilized. So please, you have to make sure that it's clean. So this is what I have. I'm gonna pour it into this glass. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna move down here. Okay, so what you are gonna do is, you are gonna be drinking this. You will have to drink all of the alcohol. Please don't just make this amount. If you know this is the amount that you have been drinking uh, to get drunk because everybody is at a different level, some people drink a lot. If it's a whole full uh, glass that you drink, you have to drink the whole bottle. You have to make it, make sure that you blend it with the whole bottle and drink it. And what this does is, it makes you, you are going to be throwing up a lot. That is what I said, you have to first make sure that you have food. Um, you have soup, not uh, solid food, but you have some kind of broth. Or a soup with which has a lot of liquid on it that you can be drinking just so that you don't get dehydrated you are going to be throwing up a lot to get all the flames out um and once once you get the flames out anytime that you go near alcohol you're gonna throw up and that will actually deter you from going uh close to any alcohol so uh someone will, will ask what is in uh mango mango leaves that is why people why uh it is good to use this Mango leaves have a lot of nutrients in it. It has vitamin A, B, and C. It has anti-inflammatory properties. Um, it has antioxidant properties as well too. It's very very nutritious. But mango leaves is one of the is one of the leaves that I know that which can uh, uh, what do you call it stop alcoholism. So if you drink this, you do this one time, and the goal is for you to throw up. So when you drink this. And you don't you, you that the same day you don't throw up or nothing happens don't repeat it the same day wait maybe in another three days for you to repeat it so that because eventually once you throw up you cannot go near alcohol again anytime you go through to the alcohol you are gonna throw up so this is a natural way of uh, treating yourself from alcoholism so once again my name is church Kiel. if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so right below like my channel and uh, please share to your friends and contacts okay so that they may also learn of some of these things i hope you have a great day bye bye